We're gonna talk about the proper party and price action of XRP because yes, you are pissed as many of you have written overpromising and under delivering. And the market was looking for some SEC ETF pump news, but the SEC decided to pump the brakes on ETF announcements. We've also got a government shutdown looming, which looks to hurt the price of crypto even further. Along with the SEC delays, this isn't shaping up good for October either. Start it off with you because you, the viewer, are most important. Sir, Mr. Jason, one channel member, thank you. Donates five to the channel saying, paying my tuition for great content. Keep it up, brother. I greatly appreciate that, sir. Mr. Jason gave you a super like on that one. Yes, thank you for all the super chats, donations, likes, comments. I greatly appreciate it. So it keeps this channel going. Nate Vincent, 9027 says, please call out extra VOD in his shit burger hopium videos. They need to be stopped. It's an embarrassment to the space. I'd rather watch BitBoy Streak. No, well, maybe. Maybe we would like to watch BitBoy Streak rather than extra VOD. Golden Goose 4985 says, yeah, pump and dump, big nothing burger. Out partying for 50 cents, wow. Court case isn't finished yet. Another two years will be in the same position. What announcements? What announcements? All load of crap, enough is enough. TJ Art Collins said, nailed it. Big announcements, big under deliverance. I said it, over-promising and under-delivering. Bitcoin sitting at 26,953, ETH, 1676. XRP, the proper party pump, went away and turned into poop. Sitting at 51.7, down 2.44%. We got XLM right now at 11.2, down 2.78 with XDC, under 5 cents, 4.9. Oh, this one here really pisses me off. Why? Because I had a whole bunch of dates written for my big dates video. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. I go over the big dates every month that affects crypto prices. I had all these big dates written down in the CC to be over. Damn it, Gary Gensler in the SEC. The SEC continues a filing frenzy, delaying Bitcoin ETFs from Fidelity, Band Act, and Wisdom Tree. The SEC kept filing ahead of a possible government shutdown, moving to delayed decisions on Van Eck, Wisdom Tree, and Fidelity. The regulator said it was instituting additional proceedings to determine whether the proposed ETF should be approved or disapproved. It asked for input from commentators who have 21 days to submit written data. There's another 35-day rebuttal period, which suggests the approval process will drag on for at least a few more months. So screw 2023 with our ETF hopes with the SEC. Here we go. Institution of proceedings does not indicate that the commission has reached any conclusions with respect to any of these issues involved. It wrote in the Wisdom Tree filing. So it's not saying they were rejecting them. They're saying, hey, we're not going to approve yet. Why? Government shutdown. Now, Government shutdown is really big because a lot of governments are talking about this. And a lot of people are worried about the ripple effects of this on the crypto market. McCarthy's last ditch plan to keep the government open collapses, making a shutdown almost certain. McCarthy's latch dish effort proposed on Friday, guess what? Didn't make it. McCarthy's right flank Republicans refused to support the bill despite its steep spending cuts of nearly 30% to many agencies and severe border securities calling it insufficient. The White House and Democrats rejected the Republican approach as well. The vote was 198 to 232 with 21 hard right Republican voting to sink the package. The bill's complete failure a day before Saturday's deadline. Yes, everyone, that's today. That's why you hit the subscribe button because when news breaks, I'm going to give it to you. So it failed a day before the deadline. Tomorrow they're saying is, hey, when we're out, Ola of money. This is not good. The SEC is delaying ETFs. We've got fans out there pissed. Yeah, I'm reading your comments and you guys are right. You guys are totally right with this overpromising and underdelivering BS. What does Brad do? Brad gets an XRP victory tattoo at the New York celebration. What are you celebrating? That XRP and security and secondary markets is a security awesome. You still have to deal with primary sales of where Gary Gensler and the SEC are like, yo, we are going to wipe you off the fucking floor and never allow you to sell anything primary again. Yeah, that's what we still have. We also have the SEC that filed for approval for interlocutory appeal, which would open up a hornet's nest all over again. So Brad, you can sit there, you can pander to your fans, you can get an XRP victory tattoo. Dude, that's like celebrating. Lap two of a 10 lap race. Come on now. Highlights from the Ripple and XRP proper party. Yeah. 
Property Party event hosted by Ripple, the U.S.-based cross-border payments firm, to celebrate its significant victory against U.S. SEC. Yeah, except the U.S. SEC is still destroying crypto piece by piece by piece. So yeah, I don't know what the f you're celebrating. However, it did not go without leaving notable marks in the hearts of tons of XRP community members. And it was more than just a gathering. Yeah, there were lots of thank yous. There were lots of, oh, you guys did a great job. And, oh, you did a good job. This village beat the bully, blah, blah. But do you pay your bills with thank yous? Do you pay your bills with book launches? Do you pay your bills? Do you meet your investment goals? Do you meet your dreams of moon with this bullshit? No, you don't. What about all those channels out there that were like, yo, IPO settlement. And I kept saying, nope, 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 nope. And everyone's out there, Klaus, you can't be sure you're so negative. No, because the SEC approves IPOs in the United States. So why the fuck would the SEC approve it? Announcement, what settlement? The SEC wants to crush Ripple and XRP completely. What do you think they're trying to do with primary sales? Yeah, exactly. Buy the rumor, sell the news. I've been telling it, and look what I got up on the screen. XRP price action. Buy the rumor, sell the news. You put green in your pocket while the holders lose. That's what happened. Now, we thought the proper party pump would come a few days earlier here, but it didn't. Came right here. We got up to a high of 54.5. We're right now settling at 51.7. But we had a decent move. We had a move up about 11% at the high. That's from the high in a 24-hour swing period. That's not bad. But I bet you a lot of people played that pump and then the dump afterwards. Why? Because there was going to be no big news from this proper party. And here's the worst part. Ripple Labs has to unlock another Billy on the market tomorrow. Brad's out there throwing parties getting tattoos, swanky ass suits. But what are the hodlers getting? And I know, I know there's gonna be some hodlers in the comments go, bro, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, we just gotta wait. Just... You keep waiting while Brad and his crew keep celebrating. Keep whining and dining on your money. Keep going to lavish destinations with juicy, scrumptious meals. Meanwhile, you get 51 cent XRP. You get a pump of like 10% and it just dumps on back down. We zoom out where you get the Torres pump that they're celebrating, right? They're celebrating the proper party. The idea that XRP secondary sales is protected. And look, that pump turned into a dump. So what is there to celebrate? Celebrating enriching yourselves, not enriching your fans that have supported you financially. A lot of you are pissed and I understand. So the government shutdown is going to be big, and yes, it will definitely affect crypto prices. Stay tuned, because I will have the latest developments shared with you as they come across. The SEC delaying the ETF action. Remember, the mark was sitting here going, yo, October, I've got them written them down. 17th to 19th, that's when the SEC was going to rule on those dates. Well, that ain't going to be happening this month. So October doesn't look too juicy, does it? Now, I do understand people celebrating. Hell, I celebrated after my race. But that was after my race when I know the conclusion, the finality of it was exactly that. It was final. You guys are celebrating. I'm not saying you guys isn't you, but some of the other yous out there, especially with Brad Garlinghouse, you're celebrating a proper party. The case isn't over yet. Gary Genzer is still ripping through crypto left and right. SEC enforcement actions here, SEC actions there. And yet we're celebrating. What are we celebrating? Awesome. Secondary sales are protected. Cool. But if all we have is secondary speculation and not primary usage, then all we're doing is speculating. And that's why you get pumps and dumps because there's no real juice holding it up. Speculation is this. Oh, we're going to go. Move, move, move. Oh, no, we're not uh, gone. That's speculation. But when you actually have real data, real news, real development, real use case and usage, then you get the pump and they're like, oh, you mean we're still going to be using this product and there's going to be more growth? Yeah, we're going to keep going up and up. You're not seeing that though. So I get it. It is important to celebrate and I'm not shooting that fact down. What I'm shooting down though is the fact that you celebrated too soon with the case still going on. You celebrate it at the end of the month is very suspicious as you're about to dump another billy on the market. Pump the price and dump it on the people. Come on now. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. I've got a feeling a lot of you are thinking the same thing. Overpromising and underdelivering another zero calorie nothing burger coming out of the Ripple Labs camp. 
What am I doing today? Well, in order to get to a six hour ultra, I've got a super, super long bike session today. I'm gonna go on a track and just do loop after loop after loop, high speed, big gear, letter E. That's what I'm doing today. What are you doing today? Hitting the subscribe button, the like button, and dropping me a comment, because you know I'll get back to you. You're also gonna have a great rest of your day. Proper party was properly stupid.